Oh, hey there. How's it going? Welcome to my kitchen. My class meets online these days, and I work at my kitchen table. It's pretty fun. I can chat with my friends. But lately, I've been feeling pretty nervous. I cannot figure out what we're learning in math. We're multiplying numbers like 30 times 400. Everyone else does it really fast. Something about multiplying the first part, 3 times 4, and adding zeros? But I don't even get why you keep adding zeros and zeros and zeros. We have a quiz next week, and I don't feel good about it. You know what? I'll call my friend Stephanie. Maybe she can help me. Hey, Stephanie, what's up? Hey, Marcos. Not much. I'm just studying for the Powers of Ten quiz. What's up with you? Um, yeah, about that Powers of Ten quiz. I'm really confused. I keep trying to multiply 30 times 400, and I get the wrong answer. Can you help me? Oh, yeah. It's not too bad once you understand why this zeros trick works. One sec, let me share my screen. Okay, so let's try that problem 30 times 400. I bet you're just adding a bunch of zeros to the end of your answer, huh? But let's see why that works. Let's break 30 and 400 into their parts. 30 becomes 3 times 10, and 400 becomes 4 times 100. So 30 times 400 can also be 3 times 10 times 4 times 100. We know we're allowed to rearrange these factors in any order we want to make multiplying easier. I'll move them around like this. 3 times 4 times 10 times 100. 3 times 4, that's 12, and 10 times 100 is 1,000. So now I have 12 times 1,000, which is 12,000. The faster way when you look at 30 times 400 is to do some of those steps in your head. Multiply the first digits 3 times 4 in your head, 12. Then multiply the 10 times 100 to get 1,000. Write 12 with the three zeros from the 1,000 to get 12,000. Remember, the three zeros are really the 10 times 100, but you're just doing it in your head. That's why people keep telling you you can multiply the first digits 3 times 4 and add the zeros to the end. Oh, I think I get it. When I'm using numbers that are powers of 10, I can multiply the first digits, then I add the zeros to the end. But what I'm really doing in my mind is multiplying the tens when I add zeros. Thanks so much, Stephanie. I feel so much better. I'm going to keep practicing multiplying with powers of 10. You should too. Good luck. Watch out for those zeros.